Jamestown resident Louise Evanson averted a potential disaster in an apartment building in Northeast Jamestown today after she returned home and saw smoke wafting from a neighboring apartment. And I didn't know who to call, so I called Frank at Preferred Auto because I've known him real well and sure. I know he's a fireman. Just I just said call 911. Mm -hmm. So here comes all these cops and fire trucks. Jamestown Fire Chief Jim Ruther says there was no damage to the apartment building or to the apartment itself. He says it appears someone was cooking meat on the stove and forgot about it. Evanson said that she believed there might have been someone home alone, which she says has happened in the past. When I go down to the garbage or if I go down to do laundry, I clean out all the dryers sure. and, because I'm just scared to death of fires. The East Coast is bracing for the landfall of Hurricane Irene this weekend. President Barack Obama urged millions in Irene's path to heed instructions from state and local officials. President Obama gave an address about the hurricane earlier this morning and says all indications point to Irene as being a historic hurricane in terms of damage. Meanwhile, New York City authorities decided to shut down the city's mass transit system tomorrow at noon. The decision comes as a precaution in light of Hurricane Irene's impending landfall and push up the East Coast. In Jamestown, authorities finished filling sandbags today. The sandbags were set up for precautionary reasons as the Army Corps of Engineers plans to raise the amount of water being released from the Jamestown and pipe stem dams. So a lot of water in the news today. Meanwhile, Wall Street is still abuzz today after yesterday's announcement by Warren Buffett via his investment company Berkshire Hathaway that he will put $5 billion into Bank of America. The bank has been in some dire situations recently, losing $9 billion over the last 18 months alone. Buffett's move is seen as a crucial show of support for Bank of America and its management team. Some other news that might affect the financial markets came today from Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke as he issued a statement regarding the United States economic outlook. Bernanke says the economy is recovering and the nation's long-term prospects remain strong. This after the Federal Reserve announced earlier this month that it would intend to hold short-term interest rates near 0% until the middle of 2013. Well, yesterday was Jamestown's fourth annual block party. Stephanie Storsley caught up with a few business owners who were showcasing their businesses at a couple of the booths. I'm here with the Director of Services, Teresa Kurtz. Can you tell me about your business? We uh, work with people with disabilities in their homes and community, in the community. What does the block party mean for your business? Um, we have used it, been down here for several years looking for college students to hire. Um, you know, if we can get them, like education or nursing students are really, work really well. What does this block party mean to you? This is great for us because it gives our animals exposure, gets them a chance to come out and meet more people in the public than what we have in the foster home program. It helps us get more volunteers. We're actually looking for volunteers to come in and help with our rescue. Everything from walking dogs to animal socialization to helping out with an event like this, we're always looking for volunteers. Paige Hotchkiss will be rejoining us to give you the weather on Monday. However, weather never has a day off and tonight will continue to be a bit breezy. The clouds are here to stay and the temperature will drop down to a low of about 49 degrees. This weekend looks like it might get a little wet as we have a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain on both Saturday and Sunday. Tomorrow's high will be in the high 70s with a south wind around 5 miles per hour. Sunday the wind will pick up a bit to around 10 miles an hour with a high near 81 degrees. To start things off next week, Monday will be sunny with a high in the high 70s, but from Monday night through Wednesday night, we have a 20 to 30 percent chance of showers. Hopefully we won't get too much additional rain though, because the reservoirs can't handle too much more. In sports, the Jimmy football team headed to Rapid City, South Dakota early this morning. The Jimmies will be taking on South Dakota School of Mines in their first game of the season tomorrow. Men's and women's soccer is also on the road. Both teams play Dakota Wesleyan tonight. And the volleyball team is in Orange City, Iowa this weekend, competing in the Red Raider Classic. Tune in to JCTV on Monday for scores from this weekend's games. Well, thank you for joining me this Friday, August 26th, 
2011. I'm Matthew Neese, connecting the campus with the community. Good night, Jamestown. Thank you.